Falcons. who months ago was throwing for touchdowns as the star quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons, now has thrown himself before the mercy of a federal court, admitting in court papers to dogfight. The one-count plea to be entered by Vic in Richmond, Virginia, Monday, charges Vic with conspiracy, a charge that could bring as much as a five-year prison term. Responding to a possible plea deal earlier this week, one of Vic's defense attorneys indicated the agile quarterback couldn't run from his past. He's accepting responsibilities for those charges, and he's trying to put the pieces of his life back together and ask that you pray for him and forgive him for any wrongdoings that he may have been involved in. Three co-defendants have already pleaded guilty, and all three gave graphic details about how Michael Vick's Virginia property was the headquarters of Bad News Kennels, that dogs were raised there to fight, that Vick not only financed the operation, but took part in gambling, and that Michael Vick personally killed underperforming dogs by drowning and electrocution. In his plea agreement today, Vic's lawyers appeared to be trying to minimize the damage, specifically saying while Vic financed the operation, even put up money for purses, he did not bet on the dogs. He did admit, however, to agreeing to the killing of six to eight dogs that did not perform well in so-called testing sessions. The dogs were killed by various methods, including hanging and drowning. And the summary states, Vic agrees and stipulates that these dogs all died as a result of the collective efforts of his co-defendants, Pernell Peace, Qantas Phillips, and himself, Vic. Neither Vic nor the prosecution had anything to say about the plea deal beyond the court filings. Once the plea is entered in court Monday, a federal judge will decide whether to accept it and then set a sentencing date. A source familiar with details of the case says prosecutors will ask the judge to send the star quarterback to prison for no less than 18 months. Drew Griffin, CNN, Atlanta.